Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and in today's little dev update we are mainly going to talk about one singular thing and that is the main release of the light campaign v2 which marks the public release of this big update. Yes, on Steam we had a public release version of the V1 a version of the Light Campaign, um, but that wasn't quite as polished as the version 2 of it and was still lacking the features we just added for version 2. So what are we going to do from here? Well, first of all, uh, we make sure that this version is working as intended. And for that, we have all the weekend of you guys playing it and uh, hopefully not finding many bugs at all. And um, if you find some, then hopefully they are really small and don't keep you from playing. Furthermore, once we have checked out that everything runs as intended, uh, we are focusing on the Unreal 4 version of the game and throw away all our our support for the key engine version thereafter. Yeah, it's looking really nice so far with the Unreal 4 version. Uh, this whole Light Campaign V2 thing has taken uh, much longer than anticipated and thus it certainly won't be happening this year unfortunately, the release of the Unreal 4 version. Um, but uh, we are thinking that it won't be taking much longer than, uh, let's say, the normal length of a big update interval. So that will be three to four months from now. In the meantime, we think you will be having uh, quite a lot of fun with the Light Campaign V2 as is, as we have uh, added enough features into there to uh, offer quite significant amounts of uh, replayability. Of course, I'm going to inform you more specifically about the next sub-project. That is, um, each big update is what we call a sub-project. And um, I'm going to detail what exactly we are going to do in the Unreal 4 version of the game and what it will come with at a start. What remains to be seen is what exactly will be featured in the Unreal 4 version. But um, yeah, rumor has it that there will be new engines and, and things as well. Not only the port, but a few little extras you will like as well just uh, to keep uh, the spirits up for what is to come. Also what is really cool is that uh, we have been working on the Unreal 4 version in parallel, uh, parallel for quite a long time now. So uh, the lack of content you have been uh, witnessing for the key engine version of automation will uh, kind of end up in a pretty good surprise for the Unreal version as we are not starting from scratch here with the port but it has been going on in parallel for over a year now and lots of assets have been created and overall it's just a <laughs> it looks like a completely new game. So what you can expect is another update video uh, sometime probably end of next week which informs you about probably the uh, any bug fixes that uh, have been done at that point in case we have to do a hot fix or two and then of course what is planned in detail for the Unreal 4 version. Depending on when you are watching this you will also see that there is a how to play the light campaign tutorial video out which I will be recording right after this so that while we don't have proper tutorial videos in the game for the new light campaign mode at least we want to have something to point people to which explains the basics because we know yes the UI is rather clunky it's not always self-explanatory what you're supposed to do and the light campaign can be rather daunting. Oh, we are aware of all that. We want to improve these aspects for the Unreal 4 version of the game. But right now it would be not really feasible to include those things into the key engine version, which will be discarded anyway. Alright, I think that was everything I wanted to get across to you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.